Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So I recently went to Target and a couple other stores. Thought I would take you all with me and show you what uh, it looks like to be pregnant in a straight sized world because I'm just not into the maternity fashion. So um, this was a bad omen right from the jump. Can we please take a moment of silence? No, so this is not, this is not working. I guess it could be cute on the right person. Maybe it's just because my stomach is like out there and you know again I am pregnant so maybe that's a thing but it just really it was really long I just didn't like it but the more I kind of look at it if I kind of can squint my eyes and get rid of that double gut it could kind of be cute I don't really know so then there's this this monstrosity <laughs> I don't even look pregnant I just look it's hard with the double gut and being pregnant because it just makes things fit awkward so this was a no-go like no no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I feel your pain, girl. Uh, I had like the weird sleeves and the cold shoulder. It was just too much, too. It just wasn't. This top I actually really did like. I think obviously this is something I would gravitate towards pre pregnancy and probably post pregnancy. Unfortunately, it did cling to my gut just a little bit, and I'm obviously going to just continue to get bigger. So uh, it wasn't something that I purchased, but I really did like it. If, again, you squint your eyes and get rid of the double gut issue, it's, it's a cute top. I really liked it, but I think it was like a large or an extra large. I don't really remember. Most of these I think are a large or extra large, except for this. This is actually a size small. It's a dress. Those sleeves are, I have no idea what they are. I don't, I don't understand that. Um, but it was a dress. It's the only size they had. And I was like, you know, it looks pretty big. And then like the boobs, the boob situation wasn't, it wasn't happening, but this would, I think I don't know. I'm torn because I really like the dress piece, but I hate the freaking sleeves. Like, I don't understand that. But I like the flowiness of the dress. I loved the lace, obviously. Like, I loved the lace. But, bye, Felicia. Um, now, this is a dress that I tried on. I think it was an extra large. I couldn't zip it up in the back just because I couldn't reach it. But it had, like, an under... What's that called? Like, an under dress? A slip dress underneath it? And then the top was like a lacy overlay. The slip dress piece was super tight. It was really tight. And you can kind of see that through the lace overlay here. I just couldn't do it. Um, I guess it, I really liked the color. That's why I grabbed it to try on. But it was too tight and too clingy underneath. I don't know. Oh my god, I have to yawn. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I'm trying. This is like the third time I'm trying to do this silly voiceover. And I can't stop yawning. So... Let's push through. This, no bueno. It had like so much going on. This giant stripe down the middle. It had the tassels. It has the weird sleeves. It has the cold shoulder. Like 4K. Why is life so difficult right now? And why is it like have absolutely no shape to it? Why? No. No, ma'am. I agree. Um, so now I started trying on some maternity bottoms because, uh, no. Regular size bottoms are not comfortable right now in my life. So I was trying on the full panel um, maternity pants because it was the only kinds that I really liked. Those were very comfortable. They were distressed, kind of. I don't think they were capri. They were cropped, um, just pants. And then I tried on some full panel maternity shorts. This was, I think, a large. They were comfortable, but I don't like see how where the short ends in my knee flab begins. Uh, it was also kind of like loose in the crotch, which I don't get. But my knee flab was really accentuated every time I walked. And I think that's just like a thing with me in shorts and my knee flab. I don't really know. I really need to go back to the gym. Like it needs to happen. Um, I keep saying that actually. But anyways, um, so these I didn't get. But I don't know. Maybe I will because I feel like in the summer I'm going to be super annoyed with life and hot and swollen and grumpy. And so there's that. These were, I think, an extra large, and I didn't like how baggy they looked in the behind. They, like, made me look super flat-backed. Flat-backed? Is that a thing? It looks like I had no ass, okay? Um, but I still had the knee flab issue, and they were a little bit, those were a little bit shorter, I think, than the jean one. So I didn't get those. I didn't get anything from Target. It was, like, a lot of time invested, and I didn't even get a damn thing. I was pissed. Um, so then I hopped over to Maurice's. I've actually never been to Maurice's. I didn't realize we had one in the area until I moved out here. This is the first... This is the first failure of this shopping trip. Um, I don't think I would even enjoy this like pre-pregnancy. I don't like how clingy it was. Like see the side gut? Shh. That's like that's always there. It's always going to be there. It just didn't work. So uh, let's move on. And then tried on this just basic striped zippy hoodie. This was like $40 or $50. Like I don't know. For some reason I thought Maurice's was much 
less expensive, like maybe like a Marshalls or something. And I was severely wrong. They were kind of pricey. I was kind of shocked. So, and the salespeople were like super in my business. Do I look like I was trying to steal something? Maybe that's what it was. But she here had interrupted me and was like, how's it going? Can I get you something? Do you need something? Do you want me to take anything? She's like, where are you from? How's it, have you ever been here before? Like literally one of my life story. And that uh, was very obnoxious. This tank I found in clearance and I really, really liked it. And I did actually, that was the only thing that I ended up buying all day. I love the flowy part. I loved how flowy it is. I normally wear flowy clothes and I think that's why I have a hard time with maternity because for some reason maternity, you have to like show off your belly just, I guess, so you don't look like a giant house. Um, but this, I feel like really concealed my stomach and that's how I feel most comfortable. So I liked it and I bought it and I love the embellishment at the top. Like obviously it's a Caitlyn shirt, so you know, <laughs> This top, I really liked the neckline when I was looking at it. I don't like that fabric right there, like the crepey fabric. <laughs> the crepey fabric that like looks just wrinkled. I can't. I don't like that. I like the color. It was like a blush. It was really pretty, but the shirt was really ugly. <laughs> so we didn't get that. I couldn't figure out if I was wearing it too short. I mean, too low. <laughs> Excuse me. Too low, too high. I don't know. The gut. Oi. This? No. This was bad. So I know that I'm pregnant and I have like an abnormally large stomach for a normal person, but the top was so big and the bottom was so tight. Like, see that? And I think it's probably just the material. Like there's no forgive or give in it, <laughs> but even in the boob area, it was like way too big. So nah, I didn't even like it. I didn't even like it. Um, Okay. Then there's this camo jacket. Like, I like camo. I don't have a camo jacket. I really like it. But this is $75. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. What? Come again? But I was like, whatever, girl. Just try it on. It had, like, the bungee tie things for the waist. So you can kind of, like, define it. Would have been nice if I could even zip it up. But I couldn't. So there's that. Um, and that's the last thing that I tried on there. Uh, and I only bought the black chain top. The next thing, I hopped over to Burlington Gold Factory next door. And I found... These magical freaking shoes. I love them. They're Madden Girl. I think they were $17. They glitter. They sparkle. And they are what I wear every fucking day. Okay? But that's it. That's what I, all that I tried on. That's all that I bought. Thank you guys for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you on the flip side. Look at the sparkles, guys. Yes. Motherfucking yes. Bye, y'all. <laughs>